Hello, Galaspar here, and this is just a quick update to my previous video about the Maelstrom's Edge broken infantry and converting them for Necromunda and other games. Uh, I wanted to first of all thank everybody for the likes, the subscriptions, uh, the kind comments. Uh, it's been really heartening to see that uh, what I've um, made in the previous video has been useful to people, and I hope I can continue to help uh, other modelers and converters out there. So I wanted to show you uh, something about the way the broken infantry kits fit together that might help you when you're planning your own conversions. And then I wanted to show you uh, some completed models that I've made using the broken infantry kit with other parts. So, um, this is just a, a quick note to say that the Broken Infantry torsos are designed in the same way as the Cadian ones. That is to say, they've got a belt area as part of the torso. Now, this is the same as the Cadian torsos, so... They are quite interchangeable with the broken infantry legs. Uh, so unfortunately, what you can't really do is combine them with catagen legs, because then you get uh, sort of a double belted effect, and the miniature ends up being too tall and uh, a bit awkwardly proportioned. So that's one thing to be aware of. The other thing that I noticed is that the heads from the Broken Infantry kit, like this one here, have quite long necks to them. Not necessarily a problem, but if you are using them with, uh, for example, Games Workshop torsos, bear in mind you'll have to give them quite a trim to, uh, to get a good fit there. Now, wanted to show you some of the uh, miniatures that I've made using the Broken Infantry Kit. Now they're complete. Uh, this guy is a Melter Gunner using uh, Cadian legs, Broken Infantry torso, a head from the uh, Bretonian Peasant Archers. Uh, a wonderful kit, sadly no longer available. But if you can get hold of one, there's some very characterful parts in that, especially the heads. Um, the hands, uh, arms uh, and weapon here are all one piece. And that came from Victoria Miniatures. Um, and this was the, the first of five models I put together. Um, the concept I set myself was a group of itinerant hivers. Um, a, a small party not uh, aligned with any house or faction in Necromunda, but simply travelling from settlement to settlement, see seeking mercenary work. Um, sort of people who might make a, a good uh, Venator gang, or can be used in general games as hive scum or bounty hunters. Um, so this one... I conceived of as a leader for the group. Um, since the broken infantry uh, torso and legs gave him quite a lot of height uh, and presence, I thought he'd be good um, leadership material. So I've added an arm with a sword there from the Empire Militia. Uh, the head is from the Cadian Command Group. This other arm is a bionic arm from the Broken Infantry kit, and as I suspected, the uh, the rifles from the Broken Infantry kit, because they're all wrapped up in uh, in cloth or, or uh, similar, depending on how you paint it, they look very good mounted on a model's back. So he could be my leader, and. It's another guy I made here. As I imagined, the um, I think they call it an EMP rifle in the uh, in the Broken Infantry description. Um, 
works rather nicely as a needle rifle. I've added a sight to that, so uh, you could um, conceivably see this guy as a sniper. Uh, he has broken infantry legs and body by Victoria miniatures. Um, the arms are from the broken infantry kit. And one thing people asked me was, how well do the arms fit together with each other, with the weapons? The answer is not very easily. Uh, it's There are no instructions as such with the Broken Infantry Kit, so it can be quite tough to find which arms work with which weapons and which arms work with each other. They're nominally paired, but uh, trying to use those pairs together doesn't always work like you think it might. So it really is a matter of trial and error, dry fitting everything, make sure you can get it right. Also, don't try to force things. I did manage to damage one of the other weapons when I was attempting to uh, uh, to fit it into the hands. However, once you do find the right combination, it can look pretty good. Um, one thing I wanted to mention here as well from the um, from putting these models together, um, plastic glue works just as well on the broken infantry kit as you might hope, uh, just as well as it does on Games Workshop products. Um, so that makes fitting together all plastic models very nice and simple. Of course, this one's got a resin torso, so it did need some super glue. Um, Another guy here is mostly made up of broken infantry parts, i.e. The, the legs, the torso, and the hands. What I wanted to find out was if I could get those hands to uh, convincingly hold a Games Workshop weapon. Um, in this case, a LAS gun. And again, it took a lot of trial and error, but I'm quite happy with the way it's held, sort of a, a loose grip like that. The, the head there is another Bretonian peasant head. Um, the feel of this guy is Gieta uh, Tafia Stalker, if you uh, if you remember uh, the Shadow of Chernobyl games. Uh, I might have to add some some packs or grenades to the side here because his silhouette is a a little awkward. But uh, again, one selling point of this kit was that the height does vary between models. The uh, the body proportions vary a little, um, which does help to give the uh, the ragtag finish. So I'm not overly bothered by the, the slightly hulking presence of this guy. Uh, finally, this model I conceived of as uh, a prospector. Um, so we have broken infantry torso, uh, legs from Empire Militia, head also from Empire Militia, We've got a, a pickaxe taken from the Gene Stealer Colts kits, and the uh, antique rifle there is from uh, Empire Handgunners. So, I think this is my favourite in terms of the um, the the character and the, and the life that's in this guy. So, what I will now do is go away and try and get these guys painted up. I need to put some bit of thought into a, a colour scheme that would work for them and um, possibly into the the basing that I'll give them to uh, to bring them firmly into the Necromunda setting. But I'm really happy with how they've turned out and um, I hope you all uh, enjoy making conversions with this kit. Uh, please like and subscribe once again and I hope to join you soon. Thank you.